Good morning, friends. Just sliced up some of this sourdough sandwich bread for breakfast today. Wesley, what would you like on your toast? Um, peanut butter jam. Peanut butter jam? I want this a sandwich. Is, this, a sandwich. This is what usually happens. He gets his toast to the table and then he starts eating it while he's waiting for someone to come spread his, his spreads on. So we've got peanut butter and jam and honey. Zara's got some peanut butter and honey. That looks yummy. Oh, we have lots of bananas. Let's do bananas. Elijah to the rescue. He's getting Wesley's toast ready. And here are some bananas too. I want you guys each to have half a banana, please. I am making my smoothie this morning. So first I'm gonna pour some almond milk into my Vitamix. Then I'm gonna get a couple of spoonfuls of cottage cheese. Next is some frozen strawberries. Yeah, that's enough. Then all that's left is one scoop of, it's vanilla protein powder, whey protein powder. And then I also use one scoop of my collagen powder. And that's it, I make this smoothie almost every day and so I make it in like a matter of, you know, it's taken me a minute here just to throw all my ingredients together. And that is my breakfast for today. I don't measure my ingredients, so this smoothie today looks like a pretty big smoothie. Oh, maybe not as much as I thought. Okay, it'll definitely be like a, a cup and a half I'll have there. Does anyone else find their kids take forever to eat breakfast? I don't know if it's because we have school right after and the kids aren't in a hurry to get through breakfast and get onto their schoolwork, but I'm like, if I walk away for a bit, I come back and I'm like, why are you guys not eating? Eat up, let's finish up. And it's not that they don't wanna eat their breakfast, they just play and talk. And I feel like I have to keep telling them like, come on, finish up, let's go. It's time to move on to the next thing. And so now, it's 9.30, uh, they're done. They're done their breakfast now, but I am just drinking my smoothie and kids are getting started on school. Welcome back to my channel and follow along today as I show you what our family eats in a day. Did you want to say something? Yeah, can I do anything for school that involves writing in cursive? Writing in cursive, you really enjoy your writing yeah. in cursive? Yeah, me. Um, I don't know. Why don't you write your Christmas list? That's what you okay. need to do. All of the kids, I uh, the other kids all wrote their Christmas list this week and Elijah hasn't written his. After, wait, do your other stuff first that I've asked you to do. And then afterwards you can write in cursive your Christmas wish list. My coffee this morning from McDonald's. I am just, Wesley, shh. I am just getting started on making lunch now. I got some bagels out of the freezer and I'm just gonna do ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch. Instead of having a cheese bagel, I'm just making my sandwich off of this um, malta grain. <laughs> you can't even see the title there, but it's this naturally fermented malta grain bread. So I'm just gonna make my sandwich with this. I'm still working on making my sandwich here, but the kids are ready to eat, and so these are our ham and cheese bagels. They have mayonnaise on them, and then I'm just gonna set mustard to the table too for the kids who want it, and then some raw veggies. And there's my sandwich. I just added some tomatoes and onion to mine. I am just about to start prepping supper, but um, <laughs> before I show you that process, I just took a drink of water and spilled down my front, so if you see my wet shirt, that's my explanation. Um, so time kind of got away from me and it is two o'clock and I need to make this dinner in the slow cooker. 
the instant pot so I'm thinking I will probably set it to slow cook but I'll have to pressure cook it at some point just to make sure that everything's ready because we're not that far from dinner and I am making a butternut squash beef stew I took some ground beef out of the freezer this recipe calls for stewing beef but I often don't have stewing beef and so I just substitute it for ground beef and that is a fine substitution so I'm gonna get everything chopped up and mixed together I have chopped up some onions and garlic here and so I am going to put that in to slow cook and I'm also going to add my ground beef while that's sauteing I will mix it every every little bit but I am going to peel and chop up this butternut squash as well as these four carrots. It's always a little bit time consuming chopping up a butternut squash and chopping like all around the, the seeds. And it's also always, I don't know why, but it's always surprising to me when I chop one up, just how much it smells like pumpkin. Like it totally just smells like I am chopping up a pumpkin. But this soup, I will make sure to share the recipe. How do I get this little part out of the middle here? I will make sure to share the recipe down below in the description. The soup is really so tasty. You'll see I'm gonna add some spinach later as well. So it is packed with veggies uh, and very, very nutritious, but so tasty too. The butternut squash is so nice and sweet. I hadn't cooked with butternut squash like at all until the last, well, I guess it's been a few years now, but anytime I have butternut squash, this is the recipe that I always come back to. I know there's a really popular soup that's like pureed butternut squash, and I don't mind that, but I much prefer the chunky hearty soups, so this is my favorite recipe for using with it. I've got all the rest of my ingredients here ready to go so first I'm gonna add all these veggies next I'm going to add some beef stock and my recipe called for chicken stock but I do a homemade chicken stock and it has nutritional yeast in it so much healthier than the store-bought chicken broth or chicken bouillon but I ran out of nutritional yeast and so beef stock will be fine with the beef in there too. I have a can of diced tomatoes. And then for my spices, I need to add a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and then just some salt and pepper. My last two ingredients are spinach and mushrooms. Here, let me move you over so you can see. See all my compost sitting in the sink that I'll have to take care of. But give this all a stir, and then I'm going to add spinach and mushrooms later on, but that's not until right at the end. I'm gonna wash this carton of blueberries to have for snack. I set this to pressure cook for five minutes oh my i'm thinking these veggies definitely look like they're nice and soft now and so i chopped up some mushrooms i am going to i need two hands to do this i think i'll mix that in and then chop up some spinach and add that after I'm finally having another coffee again with just cream. That is what I put in my coffee. No sugar, just cream. And here's a look at our stew, all ready to be served. 
Come on, doesn't that look so tasty? <laughs> That's our supper for tonight. For dessert, we're gonna have some of these. They're just like chocolate covered graham crackers. So good. One more small coffee for myself tonight. We're gonna have a few of these for a snack tonight. These are so good, <laughs> the sweet and salty popcorners, kettle corn. And that's where I will end today's video. I'm thinking, hmm, do I have any sparkling water in the fridge? I don't, oh I do, <laughs> there's one back here, I see it. I will drink this tonight, this vanilla cherry sparkling water. And thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.